Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're all doing well and we are back again with yet another haul. Now this one is obviously with what I call my ride or die brand ASOS um, who have kindly gifted me all the pieces that I will be featuring in this video but as always all of the opinions will be my own and everything that I'm choosing to feature is everything that I chose off the website and that I loved to and wanted to put in my wardrobe. Um, very quickly this hoodie that I'm wearing was actually featured in my last haul. Um, I literally lived in it so definitely check this one out and if you haven't seen that video then I will leave it linked down below and give it a watch to see everything that I picked up from I saw it first. But today is all about ASOS. As you guys know I absolutely love ASOS and I am so thankful that I get the opportunity to work in collaboration with the brand and that they support me with all of my content. I could not thank them enough. So yeah, I'm just coming at you today with a little haul. Obviously, as always, my hauls are try-on, so there will be a little try-on clip in there for you. I will leave any links and information and descriptions down below in the description box. So if you do, guys do want to pick anything up or check anything out, it will all be down there. And as always, my socials will be linked down there as well. So if you don't follow me over on Instagram, then please come and join me over there. But without further ado, let's get straight into the haul. Okay, so the first item I wanted to show you guys is not actually a clothing item, but a footwear item. And it is these grey trainers from ASOS. And they're actually ASOS designed, so they're not like a branded trainer or anything, even though they look like they could be. Um, they're just a grey ASOS design trainer, which actually go quite well with the hoodie I'm wearing right now. But that's not the reason I picked them out. The reason I picked these out is because I don't know if I actually featured them on YouTube in a very previous old video. I think I potentially did. But I picked these shoes up a while back in like a creamy beigey colour and I just picked them up because I think I was actually doing an outfit challenge. Yeah, that's it. I was doing an outfit challenge video and someone selected it as part of their outfit, hence why I bought them. And when I put them on, I absolutely loved them. They were super comfy. I really liked the design and the style of them. Like I said, I think they could look like they could be a brand and a very expensive brand at that. But they're generally not. They're just ASOS. Um, I quite like the sole. It's like a... It's not a jelly, so I don't really know what the word is. Um, but they give me like Yeezy vibes almost. Um, so yeah, I have them in the sandy beige colour and I wore them to death. I wore them pretty much everywhere in summer. I wore them out, obviously, when we were allowed to socialise in open spaces. So I wore them to like the park. I wore them if I was just nipping out, if I was doing errands. I wore them to death, essentially. Um, so I went on ASOS and saw that they had them in this colour, which is like an ashy grey, and I don't really have a lot of this in my wardrobe, so I kind of wanted to expand, so obviously now I have the hoodie, I have the trainers, I'm going up in the world, <laughs> um, but yeah, really, really like these, and I honestly do recommend, they're super comfy, if you're just looking for like a run around, throw on trainer, maybe you're walking the dog, or you're just doing errands, these are the perfect trainer for that, um, but I also think they're really cool, like you could definitely wear these out into town or for dinner, like they're a cool trainer. Um, so yeah, that's just those trainers. I'll show a little clip of them on my feet. Um, but yeah, I really, really like those and I really do recommend if you're in the market for like a run around affordable trainer. I don't want to use the word cheap, but affordable trainer, then definitely check these out. Okay, so next up, as always, like I say in every single haul that I film, it wouldn't be a haul by me if it didn't feature any kind of hoodie, any kind of loungewear, any kind of joggers, jumpers, and I'm sorry to say, but this feature, this video features all of those things because that is just my style through and through. I am comfort, I am loungewear, I am streetwear, that is me to a T. So the first thing I picked up was this grey hoodie. Now it has this little um, design on here, which I don't actually know what it says. I think it's something in French, something to do with some sort of war or warriors or something. But I just really liked the grey of this. Um, it's like a grey Marley material. I liked the really long, um, I don't even know what you call this, like the string in the hood. I don't know if anyone else is like this. It might just be me and I might just be a bit weird. But I like to play with them and if they're long, I like, they just are more fun to play with essentially. So that is another reason why I picked them up genuinely. And obviously it's a hoodie, so it's got a hood. And it's the material of ASOS tracksuits is just the best. It's super soft. It's thick, but not too thick. It's perfect for lounging. Like if you're in a warm house, you've got your heating on and you've got this tracksuit on, you're the perfect temperature, you're not too hot. They're perfect to throw on for errands. I even like wearing these like dressed up if I'm going into town, obviously I'm not at the minute. Um, but if I was going into town, this would be perfect for that. Um, so yeah, just a really super piece, super easy piece and tracksuits are the best thing because they're a whole outfit 
which brings me on to the next item. So to go along with the grey hoodie, I picked up the matching grey joggers, which you know me, I love a matching set and it makes everything so much easier because it's a full outfit so you just throw it on and you're ready to go so yeah it's got the same design on the pocket here it's got the drawstring waist which is one of my favorite things about asos um, is that they have the drawstring waist so sometimes with the joggers they can be a little bit more fitted on the leg so even if you have to size up on the waist the drawstring allows you to still be able to pull them in so that you get the perfect fit and they're always cuffed at the bottom. I always tend to go for cuff joggers or if I'm not going for a cuff jogger, it's usually because I'm getting a wider leg jogger. Um, but yeah, often, more often than not, it is a cuffed leg. And this is how the leg always is. It's like oversized. Um, and again, it's in the same gray mole material. Super comfy, super warm. So I'll show you guys what the whole tracksuit looks like on now. Okay, so moving on to the next piece, which is pretty much very similar, I picked up another pair of joggers. Now, for anyone that's watched pretty much all of my videos or follows me over on Instagram, you're probably thinking, why on earth do you need more joggers? The reason I need more joggers is because one, I wear mine to death, two, because I wear them so much, they're usually wrecked, dirty, in the wash, so I always need as many pairs as I can because I genuinely do live in them. I don't know if when I say that it actually comes across how much I wear joggers and how much I do wear them. If I could just wear joggers and nothing else, my life would be amazing. Um, but basically in a previous ASOS haul, I picked up some green, like sage green joggers from ASOS Design. Um, and they were different to any other joggers I've had from ASOS before um, in a good way because they just felt a lot more premium than any others. And I don't know why it was, a, it felt like that. They weren't anything different, they were just an ASOS design jogger, but they just felt a lot more warmer and cosier. I don't know what it was, it's hard to explain, so you guys will have to buy them just to understand what I'm talking about. But um, yeah, so I picked them up in white. Now, white joggers are something that I think are really hard to do well. So I've got, I've had white joggers before, so I've had some from Iceware at first, which I actually did really like, but they didn't have a drawstring waist, which they were a little bit big for me. So I couldn't wear them as much as I probably have liked to wear them. And I've also had some from Reclaimed Vintage, but they were more like a fleece jogger rather than like a jogger material like this. And then any I've bought since then, they've just either been a bit rubbish quality, really thin, a bit of a off white rather than actual white, so I wanted to give ASOS a go because I knew that I loved those green ones so much and I then saw them in white, I thought why not give them a go? And it's safe to say that they have definitely delivered. They are a crisp white jogger, again the cuffed waist, the, the cuffed waist? The cuffed ankle, the drawstring waist is everything that I love and they're the same material as the green ones, they're super thick, they're like fluffy on the inside which I really really like. And yeah, I'm going to definitely get a lot of wear out of them. Obviously, white joggers get wrecked so quickly. If you spill things on them, drop things on them, which I try not to do, but it does happen. Um, so having white joggers in abundance is always a good thing. So yeah, I'll show you guys what they look like on now. Okay, so next up, sticking with the theme of jumpers, loungewear, you know, all that good stuff that I like to wear, I picked up this red top, which is very different for me because I do not wear colour often. Um, and if I do wear colours, it's generally like muted tones, like the greens or the blues, nothing too crazy like a red. But I thought I'd try something a little bit different. So I picked up this like bright red, it's almost, it's like the in-between of a sweatshirt and a long sleeve top. Like it's thicker than just a long sleeve t-shirt, but it's thinner than a sweatshirt. So I don't really know what you'd want to call that. Um, I'm just going to call it a sweatshirt, but it isn't like a sweatshirt material. Um, yeah, I don't know why I was really drawn to this. I think more so because I picked up the white joggers. I was like, I want something really cool to go with the white joggers. And because white's obviously so muted, I thought, Pairing it with a red top like this would make 
make more of an impact and obviously it has the white detailing so it has this little piping detail here and then it has the Brooklyn NY print on the front which obviously is what I quite like in a print because it gives me that American vibe um, so yeah I just thought I'd try it and actually the reason I'm a lot more drawn to red is because I recently picked up some Jordans which are like black, white and grey but then there's a small part of them which are red. So I quite liked the idea of wearing the white joggers with this red top and then potentially my Jordans with the pop of red in the shoes just matching the top. Um, so that was kind of the vision I had. Hopefully it comes together but yeah it's just a really nice top and actually because it is a little bit thinner than a sweatshirt it's a little bit cooler so you can actually wear this going forward into the warmer months um, but you can still wear it now layered up in the colder months so yeah it's a perfect piece for your wardrobe and if you wanted to experiment with colour then why not get a red jumper that's as cool as this but yeah I'll show you guys what this looks like on now and I'll show you with the white joggers. Okay, so sticking with the jumper, sweatshirt, lounge vibe, I keep saying it because that's all I wear, but that's what I like to buy, and that's what, well, I didn't buy these, but that's what I would buy if I was shopping, and the next item I'm going to show you, I've actually had saved in my ASOS wishlist for a long time, I just hadn't got around to buying it, and then when they offered to send me some stuff, I couldn't resist putting it in there. So it's this burgundy sweatshirt that says Georgia so it's quite like this one that I'm wearing now where it says New Orleans this one obviously just says Georgia I really like I've said it once I've said it twice I've said it a hundred times that I like this American university college print it, I can imagine being in America and wearing this I probably, I'm guessing that people in America don't actually wear jumpers that stay is that a state random states on them because that'd just be like me walking around in a London jump up because <laughs> I'm not going to do that but um, I guess it's cool over here and yeah, I don't know, I was drawn to the burgundy and actually what also drew me to it was if I hold it closer, you can see that the text has like a green trim. I liked that detail quite a lot because I have like a lot of forest green joggers which come in matching sets. So obviously if I wear them in a set, I'm wearing a full forest green outfit. But sometimes I would like to wear maybe the joggers with something else. So I thought the addition of the like greeny trim there on the text meant that it would go quite nicely. Um, I actually got this super, oh I didn't. I only got this in a large. I was going to say I got it super oversized because it actually looks really big. But no, I got it in a large. I think it must already be an oversized fit. So then obviously I sized up one size. So it's like double oversized. But yeah, I really, really am impressed with this. And I'm so glad I picked it out. I really like the design. The thickness is really nice. It's fluffy inside. I'm definitely going to get a lot of wear out of this lounging and beyond lounging going out into town and shopping and things like that hopefully which we can will be able to do soon at some point um but yeah no i really really like that so i'll show you guys how it looks like on now Sorry if anything's changed, the camera literally died while I was filming the last clip, so I had to take it off, charge the battery, and then come back. So it's been on charge for about 20 minutes, so it's probably going to die very fast, so I'm going to try and do this last bit very quickly. So the last item I have, well, the second to last item I have to show you, is these blue jeans. Now I mentioned in a previous haul that I was on the hunt to expand my denim collection, so I picked up a pair from ASOS, and they're really like a slouchy, chilled fit. So they're quite wide-legged, they're rolled up at the bottom and they're just normal on the waist. So they're a waist 32 for anyone that's wondering. Um, they've got a little rip in the knees, which actually looks a bit lower than the knees, but I don't know if it's because of that slouchy fit. But obviously you guys will see how they look on me in the try-on clip. Yeah, I just wanted to expand my denim collection, so I thought I'd try a pair from ASOS. I know ASOS do quite good jeans generally, I've had a few pairs before. So I thought I would give these a go. So yeah, I'll show you guys what these look like on now. Okay, so last up, but certainly not least, this is probably the piece that I was most excited about receiving. It is this navy blue and like leathery varsity jacket with all these cool badges down the side and on the side there. And then this print, like this on the back, which says actual 
Now I've seen so many people already style this up on Instagram and wearing it and I've wanted one of these jackets for the longest time. I've always looked on like vintage sites to get a vintage one, but they're always so expensive. And to be honest, if Ace has to come in through with ones like this, why am I spending a hundred pounds, over a hundred pounds on a vintage one when I can get this? Actually, I say that, I don't actually know how much this was, but this looks like it could be vintage. It looks like a proper sports jacket, which I really, really like. I got this in actually a 2XL because I wanted it to be massively oversized, which you guys will see in the try on clip. But yeah, this is definitely the piece I was most excited about because I've wanted one for the longest time and I finally managed to get one thanks to ASOS. So yeah, I'm definitely, definitely going to be wearing this to death. So if any of you ever see me out and you see me in this, just don't question it. Um, but yeah, I'll show you guys what this looks like on now. Okay, so that brings me to the end of my ASOS haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Obviously, all of these pieces are fairly new in, so it's kind of been showing you what's new in haul as well. Um, if you did want to pick anything up from the haul, everything is linked down below as it always is. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I picked up from ASOS. Obviously, there will be more hauls to come from various other brands, but expect a lot more ASOS because, as I always say, it's my ride or die. Um, but yeah, I'm very glad to show you those pieces and i'm very excited to style them up i hope you guys enjoyed watching this video if you did then please do give it a thumbs up and if you're enjoying my channel and all of my other videos then please do subscribe to my channel and hit the bell for notifications so you know when more videos are to come but all that's left to say is thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you in my next video bye